Oh, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. NewQBO.com. Uh, so in this video, uh, I'm going to focus on how to handle vendor refund checks deposit in QuickBooks Online. So it has to do the vendor refund checks deposit. Uh, I'll say uh, you cancel, uh, you know, telephone service, and they mail you pro ready refund check. Uh, there's another one, uh, you cancel the utility service and they send you a pro ready refund check and then those two checks, uh, you know, you deposit to your bank account, okay? So that's not your income, so you, what you want to do is you normally you want to uh, use the same account that you use for original uh, payments. In this case, if you pay the telephone uh, bill, probably use, uh, use expensive telephone, right? If you paid for uh, gas and electric, probably use, use a utilities account. Okay, so how to handle that in QuickBooks? That's going to be the focus in here. So for this uh, tutorial video, I'm going to use test drive, QuickBooks test drive. So we have external link in here from our website. So you can just click this one, test drive. Okay, so test drive, we have uh, uh, USA, Canada, UK, Australia and we have uh, India and Singapore. So if you are uh, uh, QBO users from, uh, from uh, overseas, uh, uh, you can use uh, you know, this website and uh, do the, uh, do the, use a test, test drive file from here. Okay, and uh, if you need to subscribe, QuickBooks Online, they always have 30 day trials. So here we've got the US, Canada, and UK. So for this test, uh, I'm going to use uh, QuickBooks Online, but if you need to subscribe, you can just click it here, and it will take you to their uh, uh, website. As you can see here, QuickBooks Online plus one is 40 bucks a month. You can just sign up here, but if you, if you uh, click it here, you'll save some money in here. So it says 50%. So let's click this one click any link in here uh, as you can see here for for six months you can get it for 40 bucks a month a normal price regular price is 40 bucks so six months you can just click buy now and you can get for $24 from here okay so uh, I'm gonna use a USA test drive file here okay so first thing you want to do is uh, you need to Enter uh, security uh, verification code. In this case, is 198291. When you try, it would be different number. Okay, so I'm on QuickBooks Online uh, website, your homepage in here. So, bank feed is right here. Banking. Okay, so I'm gonna go to uh, a checking account. Okay, uh, as you can see here, when you when you download, let's say this is an example. This is an example in here. So you did two hundred dollars deposit, and it's showing like uncategorized income. It's not income. It's basically you got two refund checks from a vendor, and uh, uh, and you just deposit it. Uh, so you want to use uh, same expense account that that originally. Uh, use for uh, payment. Okay, so how to handle that now? If you just do add, then it will go to one vendor, and uh, you know you can change the expense account from here, but you can't select uh, multiple pay in here. Okay, so the right way to do it uh, is uh, I'm going to show you a couple of steps in here. Okay, so let's go back to home page again. So the first thing you want to do is click the plus sign and uh, uh, select vendor credit. The reason we want to do this is whenever you go to the vendor, you want to see a uh, refund check and also uh, uh, refund check and the deposit, both in here. Let's say this one here, California Telephone. Okay, so you want to show both $100 refund as well as uh, uh, refund as a deposit of $100. Okay, so click this one, vendor credit, okay, 
uh, select vendor here, California Telephone, let's say. The account you normally use for telephone is, uh, of course, telephone or utilities. So, telephone account, right? So it's $100. Okay, and you can say uh, refund check, you know, description like this, and you can write check number if you want. One, two, three, or whatever. Okay. All right. So this is to so uh, they owe you hundred dollars. Okay. So it will show vendor credit, hundred dollars in here. Okay. And let's say uh, another one is uh, uh, this is, is Chin's gas and oil, okay. Uh, and let's say this is the utilities one, gas and electric, so hundred dollars, okay. Let's say this one is four five six check number, okay. So now if you go to uh, vendor center, you should see those two. See right here, so you know, uh, as negative balance in here, okay? So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deposit those two checks, refund checks. Uh, you go to bank deposit and manually enter it here. Manual deposit, bank deposit, okay? Bank deposit in here. Okay, as you can see, uh, now you, you want to use this add new deposit in here. So. You may not see anything, it could be just blank in here. So just use add new deposits. Uh, so receive from the vendor, select vendor. In this case, California Telephone. The other one is from Chains Gas and Oil. Okay, so the count. So what's the count to use? So the account you want to use is accounts payable AP in here. Accounts payable AP. Accounts payable AP. So that's where you have uh, credit balance in there. Okay. So you want to apply against that credit balance. And payment matter is check. Payment matter is check. I'll say the check number, reference number, is check number. Four, five, six, like this. One hundred dollars in here, right? So now the deposit amount is total amount is two hundred dollars. See deposit. So when you write deposit slip, you know you will see two hundred dollars. Okay, so I'm going to close this. Okay, so now if I go to this one vendor here. You know, you will see something like this, vendor like this, okay? Uh, so as you can see, your deposit and vendor credit, okay? So you need to apply this uh, deposit against this, okay? So what you need to do now is there's another process involved. So I gotta go to pay bills. As you can see here, this thing is still sitting in here. Let's click this one. See, $100, credit applied, open balance, deposit, same thing in here, okay? And make sure the, the account you want to select is the ch your right checking, your right bank account, okay? So right here, it's the uh, checking account, right? Okay, so now I'm going to close this. As you can see, the whole thing is just to clear it, just the zero, there's no amount paying anything. So to clear it, apply, you know, credit, applying as a deposit. So save and close. Okay, so now, as you can see here, you know, you have three in here, like this, right? So first thing is uh, vendor credit, deposit, and just uh, applying uh, deposit against the vendor. This is the one. So now, if you go to, uh, if, you, if you check the other one, same thing, actually. So change gas. See as you can see here, those three. Okay. So this is basically uh, it'll show transaction list in here. You know, uh, you you have a deposit and you create a credit, and it it's this is the way it's supposed to be. Okay. So now if you go to transactions and banking, 
at this point all we have to do is just match it as you can see here match it just ignore this for a moment because uh, this is just an example so match this and uh, then it's done the job is done so that's just that's how you have to do it uh, hope you learn uh, thank you for watching this video as I said you can always uh, uh, you know visit our website we have all kinds of uh, uh, blogs in here uh, and hey don't forget to subscribe our uh, YouTube channels we have two channels uh, one is the, the one you're watching that's the PP controller channel the other one is new QBO that's by our website in here new QBO thank you bye